Yo, Future Motion and One Wheel has fixed the GT again. Back in the day when they just first released the GT, the first time they ever fixed it was with the firmware. Uh, I made a video over a year ago. That was the first time. Now it's always been a standard that you upgrade your tire from your one wheel. So when this one wheel GT came out originally, it had the option of the stock treaded or the stock slick. It wasn't that big a deal for uh, you to think that uh, you're just gonna have to get an aftermarket tire to dial in your GT. But no, Future Motion has done it again. They have actually dialed in their own performance tire and this thing shreds. It is a straight mobbing tire. I literally just stepped on this thing like a few days before Race for the Rail, went to Reno, Nevada to begin training and made the decision that I was going to race this thing down the mountain at Sky Tavern for Race for the Rail. Even though I was dialed in on the Enduro, once I got on this and felt the stability in comparison, Lord, check out this footprint. I mean, it's that flat on top with these nice rounded edges, got to the tread that goes all the way to the side. The compound is very, very soft. I'm at 15 PSI right here, and it feels very cushy. I'm jumping up and down on it. It feels like it's almost like a 10 or 12 PSI, but I'm at 15. This thing is a mobster. Dope. A bead breaker. Or a wrap. Floaty uh, had it pop like an eight, so. Yeah, this thing to is. To save time? Already soft, it's not. Well Twelve and a half. We'd even use the tire wrap, guys, because I saw on floaties that it popped at like twelve. So uh, the first one popped like under ten, and then the last one was twelve. So nice. Yo, we started out around like 15 PSI and it was super fast. Um, for a seven inch tire width, this thing is nimble as heck. I feel like I'm on a big tire with a pint hub. Um, it's very soft, super nimble. Uh, I just took some air out to see kind of how it was with a, a little less air. It's feeling very mobster, more to come. All right, guys, this thing was just released like a couple weeks, maybe even a week before Race for the Rail. And out of 16 racers, 14 of them chose to race this tire. Nice. This board came officially out of this box with this tire. That is looking fresh to death, dude. Sick. This tire is, in comparison to the Enduro, which I was on, the Enduro is a six and a half inch tire. So, of course, it's a, a smidge nimbler than this. But for a 7-inch tire, this is so nimble. Let me tell you how this, this tire felt, in fact. When I switched from the Trail Pro to the Maxxis tire, that was such a shift in stability, and it was a shift in the right direction. With this, it was the same thing. When I switched from the Enduro and switched over here to the One Wheel Performance traded tire, I felt like I had more, uh, more surface area here, so it felt way more stable, I could feel it. But at the end of the day, it was still so super nimble. This thing at the right PSI can be just as nimble as the Enduro. So as you can tell, this is a very wide tire, but you can actually see how it's nimble. I mean, like, look, it has some very nice rounded edges right here. Literally was on this for a week and decided to race it at race for the rail this performance tire is a no-brainer future motion has done it again they have fixed the gt again the price 129 
I mean, that's pretty fair for the price is fair. I mean, 129 is basically what you're going to pay for an aftermarket tire of that quality. I think it's really dope that you can just ride this completely out of the box now. Of course, there's a few things that I would I would change. You know, I'd put the Ignite Foam Grip Tape on it. But if I had to rock a stock GT, the FM Performance Tire is dope. All righty. In conclusion, if I'm rocking a stock GT, I'm 1,000% rocking the FM Treaded Performance Tire, without a doubt. To touch real quick on the other performance tire that they dropped, I didn't ride that very much. I rode Rachel Payne's board for a second, and I've also took the feedback that I was given from Neil Bennett, who I really respect as a rider and can trust what he says. He says he really likes the slick. He said it's gonna be slept on because you know, it's not seven inches because the slick is only six and a half inches. But I will say that when I did ride it for the short amount of time I did ride it, it kind of reminded me of the, of the Enduro. So with that being said, I personally think the seven inch treaded is better because I think it, I, I like it the best overall. It's my favorite like FM stock hub tire. But yeah, that's my review on it. What is that? All right, so I hope you're enjoying this review on the brand new Future Motion 7 inch treaded tire, okay? Making your one wheel GT straight out the box fire. But now a word from our sponsor. That's right, from onewheelparts.com, you can get tire candy. Tire candy is made of three different viscosities of the perfect blend of tire sealant. You put this eight ounce bottle into your tire and kiss flats goodbye. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this very simple uh, installation. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. All right, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pop this red thing off like it's a zit. Then you're gonna take some scissors. You're never gonna wanna run with these. And, uh, oh yeah, well let's take these things out first. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's some things in here. There's some thing things. This is gonna unscrew your valve stem, and this is another valve stem. So you take your scissors, where appropriate eye care, and you clip off the tip. Clip that off, okay? Then you uh, take this thing off. Then you put this on. Then you put this on, and that thing is ready to go. Next thing you do is you take this little guy right here. This is going to unscrew your valve stem. And notice there's no tire candy on my hands. That means there's no tire candy, no tire sealant in here at all. Tire candy by onewheelparts.com. Click the link in the description and order you some today. This is gonna kiss your flats goodbye. Then you go like this, and the fun begins. <laughs> all, right. No. all right, bro. Tire candy. We got it. Oh, we just spilled a little bit. That's all right. All right. And then you just screw this thing back in there. And then you air it up. Do I use this to air it up?
All right, let's stop at 13. Alrighty, guys. That's as easy as one, two, three. Log on to OneMoreParts.com. Get you some tire candy while you're there. Get you some sick 357T rails. Get you some fender deletes. Maybe the billet. Let's go.